Hey, what's going on guys? So they finally added emulators to the App Store legally. You don't need to jailbreak or do anything fancy. I'm gonna show you everything that you need to get everything set up. There's a couple of files that you're gonna need for the DS one, mainly the BIOS and the firmware. So I am gonna link all that stuff in the description down below, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so essentially what they've done is they've added the Delta emulator on the App Store. As of late, uh, there was an announcement that they were gonna be allowing emulators legally onto the App Store. And there was a couple of them that were kind of sussy at the beginning, but uh, they've added one of the really good ones. Uh, if you remember, if you're one of the OGs that used to jailbreak your phone, you used to have to download something GBA for iOS, and it was made by this developer, and, and it's now Delta all-in-one emulator. So essentially, um, you're gonna go into the App Store here, and you're gonna search for Delta all-in-one. Then you're gonna see here, I'm gonna pull it up. This is Delta Game Emulator. You're gonna click download, and obviously you're gonna start that download, but essentially, um, this is gonna be Super Nintendo, Nintendo, DS, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Nintendo 64. It's, it's insane. If we expand here a little bit, it has controller support, right? If you have Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, maybe Joy-Cons, a uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 controller, Xbox, Bluetooth controllers, keyboards. Um, you can do save states. There's a bunch of really cool stuff that you can do. So let me go ahead and open this up so you guys can see what this looks like. I've already downloaded a few of my favorites. Um, shout out to those that know about Elite Beat Agents. It's a goaded game. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to have to download the ROMs off of the internet, right? For <laughs> reasons that I can't say, I can't tell you guys where to download the ROMs. I can't link any of that in the description, but you can just do a quick Google search. You can type in the name of the game that you want and then ROM at the end of that and then hit search. You'll be able to find it. Usually it's within the first two, three links that show up in the results. Once you do that, you want to click the little plus sign and you're going to click to files. And essentially what happens is the the ROM gets downloaded and on your iPhone, it automatically gets placed into the files app. You're going to click files and then you're going to click on the ROM. If it's a zip file, it'll extract it same there in the files folder. And then you click on the ROM and it pops in in here like this. And so essentially what you want to do is once you download the game, you can click on it and it's actually going to pop up right here. You can change the skins, so I'll show you how to do that, but let me show you the game first. It's perfectly smooth. There's like no delays or um, the touchscreen works. You can kind of, you know, play around, go into the game here. Um, there's a couple things that you can do that I really like. Um, if you click down here, you can click on fast forward and you can speed up your game, right? So if you, if you need the game to go a little bit faster and you're trying to maybe level up and grind and don't want to wait too much, this is something that you can do. It's absolutely amazing. This is one of like my favorite things about it because sometimes I don't have the time to sit there grinding games at normal pace. And it just looks so clear on an iPhone screen. I'm just blown away by it because I do have these games on the DS and you can't compare the screen on the DS to an iPhone, right? So. Uh, I wanted to show a couple things because you can download skins. You might be asking yourself why mine looks different from yours. Um, yours might have that girly pop pink uh, skin, which I'm not gonna lie, I really like actually. But uh, I'm gonna link it down in the description. I can link you the site where you can download the skins. Um, so that's gonna be in the description below. I believe it's um, Delta Skins. Uh, it should be in the description. But once you download the skin, again, it's going to go into your files folder and then you're going to open it in here. But when you click on the, the DS, right, for example, I want to click on this one. And you see the little plus sign here on the top, you click that. You're going to have all your different skins that you've downloaded. And then you're going to select the one that you want. I'm not going to click on any of these because I've already opened them and I don't want duplicates of it. But once you click on it, you're going to see it down here, right? I have this black one. I have this DSi red one. I have this one that's edge to edge and I wanna show you what that looks like. This is mainly for games that wanna use the touchscreen. 
So for example, Elite Beat Agents, it's a rhythm game, you just tap the screen. So this one's all touchscreen gameplay, so I've, I've downloaded that one. Um, that one will be in the description as well, it's called Pokemon Ranger. Um, essentially what it is, is, you know, Pokemon Ranger is a touch-based game, so it really doesn't have you use the buttons on your Switch, so, <laughs> on your Nintendo DS, sorry, <laughs> I've been playing too much Switch. But yeah, this is essentially what it looks like. Uh, I'm at the final stage here for Elite Beat Agents. And uh, yeah, it's just incredible. There's no delay, no hiccups, no pausing. I was worried that the emulation was gonna stutter or not be as smooth, but this is a rhythm game and it, it cannot stutter. If, if a rhythm game stutters, you guys might know, but it's just incredibly difficult to play. So yeah, let me show you guys. Okay, it's not stuttering, it's just me being bad. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's like the whole thing. Um, the link to download the controller skins are in the description. There's some really cool ones. You can probably, I'll link a couple because I found two or three different sites that have these really cool controller skins and you can really get creative. There's controller skins I'm gonna show you for Game Boy Color, right? For example, this Game Boy Color one, I have the Atomic Purple Game Boy skin that I had. I had this Game Boy when I was a kid, right? and it just looks so cool it just and the screen the screen can't compare man it's just if you play this on your game boy you're gonna be squinting it's really hard to play i have my game boy sp back there and i prefer to play on my phone than to play on the on the console itself because it's just so much harder to see and i can just play this on the go you know if i'm waiting for a flight i can just pop over you know to pokemon emerald and here look i have this red game boy sp skin so that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, for DS, um, real quick. For DS, you're gonna need a couple files, like the BIOS, the firmware. That is also gonna be linked in the description. I can include that. What I cannot include are ROMs. So the games you have to download yourselves, guys, but uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, let me know in the comment section. If you need help or if you have any questions, I'm happy to you know point you guys in the right direction if anything's going wrong, but yeah. There's a bunch of Nintendo 64 games. You can even download the uh, Animal Crossing that was uh, Japan only for Nintendo 64. And I know there's an English translation for that, so I'm super excited to get that. But yeah, I have Animal Crossing Wild World on here. And there's just, <laughs> I'm not gonna get anything done with this emulator, I'm not even kidding. Like my work productivity is just disappearing <laughs> by the second. But yeah, if you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a like if it helped you guys in any way. I really do appreciate it, and uh, thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you subscribe, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.